Alright, so this video is on how to remove things in Photoshop CC using various methods. First thing I'm going to do is zoom in. You can see this person sitting on this bench. We don't want that in our photo. We're going to remove that. So we're going to zoom in, go up here, and select your quick selection tool. You can make it bigger or smaller with your bracket keys. So we want to highlight this whole area in here. You can just drag it and you see it made it really big down here, but we don't want that. So if we just hold Option, trace it up. you got to get rid of all the dancing ants where you don't want them. Alright, so we want it there. We're going to make it smaller. We're going to push it up. And over. Right there, we don't want it on her jeans. Push that up. Make it smaller again. Sometimes you just have to play with this a little bit. See, that's pretty good. It's going right up her pant leg. That's what you want. We're going to make this slightly bigger. Just so we're past what we want to remove. Ah, it goes too big. So, we just use Option again. Bring it back down. Right about there. And we just get rid of all these dancing ants by holding Option. Just click them go away and I'm recording this on my D600 and I don't do much video so just bear with me I have been learning and teaching myself how to use Adobe Premiere Pro if you do not know how to use that program, I highly suggest learning it. Even if you only do a little bit of video, because it's a very sweet program. Alright, so that's a pretty good selection. A little bit up there, but we're good. So, we're going to use the clone stamp. I'm going to take part of this grass here. Because if you see here, it should run right along there where that person's sitting. We're just going to make this a little smaller. And you want to select it right on that edge. Option, select, some grass. Now we're just going to double click right in here. Fill this grass in a little bit. There you can see it's pretty much perfect in line with that. And don't worry about small little things. The client is not going to notice small little things. The things that we see, they don't see. Believe it or not. Alright, so I'm going to come in here and select some of these trees. Option. I'm just going to come in here right above where I just did with the grass and just keep double clicking. Double click, fill that in. Just get rid of that person. Alright, let's zoom in a little bit. Oop, wrong way. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe fill in a little bit right there. You can always take another another selection with the clone stamp tool. Get a little bit of different color in there. Right there, that's pretty good. So I'm going to deselect that and see how it looks. That's pretty good. But you see you get these lines in here. So we're going to use the spot removal tool. It's on the toolbar. You're just going to click it. Click the line, follow the line. It's going to take it away. That's the problem with the clone stamp. It puts patterns in our photos. And those are very noticeable. But if you just go over them with that, it'll blend them right out. It's pretty cool how it works. And I think that looks pretty good. But we're just going to double check it. I'm going to zoom way back out at normal viewing level. I know on mine it's like 33.3. So we're going to go to that. See, that looks pretty good. Can't even tell. Alright, so next thing is the person. So we're going to zoom back in. And this is going to get a little tricky just because of this girl's hair. I've already edited this photo and removed all this stuff. And I was requested to make a video for it, so I'm going over it again. So back to quick selection tool. Quick selection tool. I'm going to make it bigger. 
crack a key. I want to select this whole area right in here. Let's see where it goes. If it goes over, just make it smaller. Again, make it smaller. Option key, and push it back up to where you want it. Probably got to play with this a little bit in here just to get it perfect. See, that's pretty good. Zoom in on it too. I'll make it slightly smaller option. Drag it up into here. Just to get it off of the little girl's sweater. Yeah, that's pretty good except for that little part. Right there, that's pretty good. And you see it's going to really mess her hair up but we don't really have a choice because if we leave it in there it's going to be noticeable so let me zoom out a little bit oops I'll push that up just a little bit so you're past it get it off mom's arm sometimes all photoshop is is having a little bit of patience I know it gets frustrating But if you just have a little bit of patience, play with things, they tend to work out. <laughs> See, that's giving me problems. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's some bumps. But that looks pretty good, that selection. So now, I want to zoom back out just a little bit see what we got going on so we got a tree right here and there's a line on that tree anytime you're cloning or doing any kind of removal work lines are good to have so you got option hold that down take that selection now you're just going to follow the line of the tree down all the way because it should go all the way down if that person wasn't sitting there Yeah, that looks pretty good. Maybe just take another selection of it. Try to follow that same line. And you can see it already started blending this out. So now we're going to come up here, make it smaller. Grab a, oops. Grab a piece of it. Come down here. Just fill this in. Grab a different spot. And so you got that tree branch hanging down. You can even use that. Or you can remove that all together. Well, we're going to use it. Now we're going to let it go. Change my mind. I forget what I did in the other one that I already did. But little things like that, they aren't going to notice. It just looks like it goes into the bushes. See, just like so. Let me zoom in on it. Wrong way again. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now let's deselect it and see what it looks like. You can save your selections also. That's one thing I didn't do, which I should have did. But I'm just going to go over this with the spot removal tool. Hopefully it'll blend out some of the spots and make it not so noticeable. And we have another line up through here. Just blend this out. Alright, that looks pretty good. For the most part. Now the only problem is, is this cool girl's hair. So we're going to zoom way back out and you can see. Can't even tell. But we're going to zoom back in because I don't like this little girl's hair that got chopped off. Alright, so I'm going to go back to my clone stamp. I'm going to make it smaller. Oops. What am I doing? Make it smaller. Try to select up here. 
a little bit and just try to fill it in where it's missing. Make it a little bigger. This takes a little bit of practice to get this right. See, no, that doesn't look bad either. And zoom back out, you can't even tell. You might be able to tell a little bit, but that's the point of it. You can go back and just keep playing with it until it looks right. Or until you're happy with it. I would be happy with that because they're not going to notice that. Alright, so the last thing is this little post. Or trash can, whatever it is. I'm going to zoom in on it. Get rid of my history panel. So I'm going to use the pen tool. This is a cool little trick. Pen tool. And all you're going to do is click. And it puts these little anchor points. You're going to click all the way around it. If it's near the edge of the photo, come off the photo a little bit. Just come all the way up and around it. Until it finishes. Right click. Make selection. Click OK. You have the dancing ants. Just hit the delete key. You want content aware, color adaptation checked. Excuse me, blending mode, blending mode normal or dissolve. I usually use normal, so we'll go with that. Press OK. Bye bye. Select, deselect, and it is completely gone and blended out. And you can use that trick with just about anything. It didn't work with the guy sitting on the bench. I tried it already. So, and sometimes when you use that to blend stuff out, you just have to trace it out again and again a few different times to get it to blend out. Alright, I hope this video is helpful. Thank you for watching.